Here we have escalation, issue 2A. Here we have escalation, issue 2B. Here we have escalations, issue 5A. And here we have Dreamwave Transformers. Again, another wraparound cover, which is pretty cool. And then we have another Dreamwave. This is issue 3. This is issue 4. You know what's funny? They advertise on the back here, November 2002, for the first time ever, Transformers Genesis, the official art book. <laughs> yeah, isn't that kind of ironic, if you know what I mean? And then here we have issue 8. These are all basically um, bought from Half Price Bookstore. I don't know if you can see that right there for a dollar. These were bought. It's pretty cool. And then this here got this off of milehighcomics.com. This is actually the official 1964 Golden Key adaption of Hey There, It's Yogi Bear. That's right, 1964. Look at that. Can you believe that? This thing's about almost 50 years old. This is what, and look how much it went for. Look at how much it went for at that time. I don't know if you can see that. Twelve cents. It went for twelve cents at that time. N yeah, 1964. It's unbelievable. But yeah, that that's what it is. It's pretty cool, isn't it? I mean, pretty cool. 1964. And this was, um, from, like I said, from Mile High Comics. And it's in good condition. And... And I got this, I think, back, um, and that's my cat in the background. But I got this back when I was living in Kansas. Now, these here are the Lap Olympic comic books released by Marvel Comics when they were like 35 cents. This is um, issue three. This is issue three of Lap Olympics. Right here. Here we have um, issue five, right here, issue five. Here we have um, issue six of Laugh Olympics. And here we have issue eight. And like I said, it's 35 cents at that time. And the thing I liked about the thing I, the thing I like about the Lap Olympic comics is they actually did something that the comics never did. I mean, that the show never did. They expanded the story. They expanded the story. So in other words, they would show what was happening in between, you know, breaks and all that, like in between certain things they would do. So again. One of the reasons I like the comic is because, like I said, it expanded on what the show didn't do. Now, uh, these other books are kind of, um, well, let's just say very, very risky. So, there. The Anaconda Divada. These are adult only, but these are adult only comics, so the Conda Divada. I think pretty pretty much these people know what that one is. Some some of you may know. And the reason I'm covering certain sections is because um, you know there's reasons. And there's issue two. Believe it or not, I actually got um, I actually heard about this comic um, online. Believe it or not, I actually heard about this um, 
the comic online at a site. So I decided to check it out, and I, I read it, and it's pretty good. It's basically, it's basically a lot of uh, little, like little comic strips and all that put together as one, but for adults only. And I will be back with more of my comics in better detail. Okay.